Last time on the Summer Sphere, I went to explore the Cape Range National Park and the Ningala Reef just a little bit more. I got scared off by murder stingray and later on set out to go on what I thought would be a leisurely stroll through a nearby gorge. This is all bullshit. Next time I said I want to go for a hike, just stop me. And today I'm heading off into the unknown. in the car, pack up my tent and get going. I was feeling pretty proud of myself. I had packed up my stuff in record time and was ready to leave at seven o'clock on the dot. Alrighty, here I go. Today I was heading to Kerrigini National Park, about 700 kilometers into the outback. With only two petrol stations along the entire way, my next stop had to be the Nanutara Roadhouse. Which is 273 kilometres away. And I've noticed how I'm filled up with joy thinking, whoop, thinking, that's actually not that far. <laughs> so that's how you know you've been in Australia for a while and been travelling. Here we go. Alrighty, it's now 10 to 9 and I've made it onto Highway 1, which by the way leads you all the way around Australia. So this is all new to me, I've never been here, ever. And only two hours later, I arrived at the Nanutara Roadhouse. And can't get fuel. Got myself a little breakfast wrap. From here on, it's gonna go inland. Inland only. Okay, it's happened. I'm on the Outback Road. The next town is 271 kilometers away. <laughs> Nothing in between. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. Now it gets exciting. We're on Rebel Road. Jesus, these are kind of bloody markings. <laughs> well, the adventure starts now. I quickly began to set up camp. The tent was up in minutes, but getting the packs into the rocky ground was a different story. It's already bent. It worked out in the end. The bet was made, and I learned how sticky this red dirt can be. My hands are so dirty. It turned out to be quite an exhausting activity, and I decided to have a well-earned coffee break after. I also went to have a look around the campground. It had a small little kitchen and quite possibly the best bush toilet I have ever come across. Well, here I am, going for a little mini explore. There in the back is my tent and there's little termite mats. Full size is here. This one's a little one, but there was one much, much bigger than me. So there's heaps around. See, this one here is much bigger. Here I go, right into the bush. Feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl, daydreamer. Look at this, and this is only the beginning. Like, there's gorgeous like this, and you are more beautiful. All over the place. Running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. Okay, I made it out of the gorge, back in somewhat open country. It's really hilly here. Western Australia's tallest peak is here as well. Look at this one. 
and it's currently peak season so it's quite busy I mean as busy as it can get out in the wilderness but there's people around so you're never alone even if you're traveling right well this is it from me if nothing else happens I'm going to say goodbye to you for now and I'll see you guys on my next adventure Cheers. next time on the summer sphere it's the worst bloody ride ever I'm going down into the court I don't know if I have to go into the water or not <sighs> Jesus Christ I'm going to die of hypothermia something here smells funny like it always smells like someone's done a wee but it's impossible so it must be some I think it's these grasses I think it's them. They're the culprits.